What is up, y'all? Today we are going to be starting our journey into historical weaponry with the Scottish Broadsword and Targe. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe to support the channel, and consider joining my Patreon for exclusive perks. Now, let's get started. If there's one item in the Scottish warrior's arsenal that casual history enthusiasts recognize most, it's the Scottish basket-hilted broadsword. In popular media, it is often seen being paired with the equally ubiquitous Scottish targe, both of which were mostly used during the First and Second Jacobite Rebellions in the 18th century. While it's usually depicted as being wielded by soldiers of all ranks and backgrounds in movies and TV, not all Scots could actually afford to carry one of these into battle. Even I had to resort to using a synthetic recreation for this demonstration. It was often gentlemen of great financial means and mercenaries who possessed one of these carefully crafted blades. The source that I've found most helpful in my training has been the book Scottish Fencing by Jared Kirby, Paul MacDonald, and Ben Miller. Not only does this text provide historical context and first-hand accounts, but drills and fencing terminology as well and on the back they included a handy illustration of eight basic guards, which is what I am demonstrating in repetition here. Trying to find manuscripts that instruct how to wield the broadsword in conjunction with the targe, though, have been quite difficult for me to locate, which has led to me simply experimenting with techniques in order to find some common ground with sword and buckler, which is what I'm used to training. Here's some sparring footage from the first time I had the chance to try it out with my buddy Evan, who, Ridley only trains rapier, so thank you, Evan, for being so accommodating and also being my guinea pig in this experiment. Apparently, different Highland clans had created their own fighting styles, and my theory as to why it's so difficult to find any existing manuscripts demonstrating these styles is because these clans and individuals were too busy with things like surviving wars and local skirmishes to write anything down. I mean, seriously, we complain we don't have enough time to do laundry these days, and then turn around and wonder why sources on an obscure weapon system don't exist. So you know what? I get it. But if you have another theory, put it in the comment section below to educate the masses and myself. If this video tickled your fancy, please remember to like and subscribe to support this channel and consider joining my Patreon for exclusive perks. Thanks for watching and stay strong!